Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time stopping by, stick around for a while, click on that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. If you're one of my faithful subscribers, thanks so much for stopping in again today. Today's project is going to be a real fun project and I have discovered modeling paste and I want to show you what I do when I take the modeling paste and I add in a Dollar Tree vase. Doesn't have to be a Dollar Tree vase. I just got a plain glass vase, added in some paint and it is unbelievable what the look of this vase turns out to be. So give me a second. I'm going to get that camera angle changed and we are going to get making. So to start this project off, what you're going to want to get your hands on is some modeling paste. Now I'll make sure I put a link down below for the modeling paste that um, I'm using. Okay, so you're going to want to pick up some modeling paste and you're also going to want to get a glass vase. Now it doesn't have to be glass. You can definitely do this with a terracotta pot. Um, I picked this one up from Dollar Tree. And then I also had this cute square one. So I'm going to actually make two here today with you guys. And I want to show you the one that I've already done. So once we apply the paste and we let it dry, we're going to add some paint to it. So this is just a fun way to dress up a vase, add a little bit of pizzazz to it and then you can decorate it with whatever you want. And I'll make sure I show you how I've got this one decorated at my house. So what I like to do is I like to tape off a section of the vase first, okay? Now you can actually cover this entire thing, okay? You could cover all of it or you could cover part of it. In fact, I think what I might do with this one is I'm going to cover this whole thing since it's a shorter base and then this one we're going to leave the top part um, open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use blue painter's tape. It seems to work the best for me. Okay. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to eyeball taping it around. Okay. So I'm just going to tape off a section. Sorry about that. My puppies are talking. And I'm just gonna eyeball taping that off. And you can do it whatever distance that you want as you're doing it. Now this one I did a little bit bigger of an area, but I'm gonna go ahead and just tape off that top part. I like to just have that top showing, okay? And then I'm going to take the modeling paste and I am going to use a palette um, brush or a palette um, knife, I guess you would say, or I've also got these um, little makeup brushes and they work really good too. Just kind of decide, depends on what design you actually want to put on yours, okay? And then all I do is literally you're just putting some on your brush and you're just going to coat your vase. Now, I like to get it all coated and then I start to put, um, you know, a little bit of swooshes and stuff in it. So I'm just going to put a nice coat um, on. So I'm just making sure I have coat and I'm not, it's not super thick. Um, this stuff just dries so beautifully. It's kind of like I think about it, um, icing a cake, right? Um, it's just like putting the icing um, on a cake, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry, okay? And you know, my last one, I let dry overnight, but I'm actually, when I come back, I will let you know exactly um, how long this took to dry before we were able to add um, before we're able to add paint to it. Okay. So again, all I'm doing is putting that thin coat. I'm going over the top of where that, um, blue painters tape is. Now I'm not putting any down at the bottom. You guys, I am going to apply paint 
to the bottom there. But I'm not putting any of the um, molding paste there at all. So, okay, get this all done. Not quite sure why I've got a dog in the other room that won't be quiet, but he's trying to talk to somebody. Okay, so now I've got a good coat on this one, you guys. And what I'm gonna do is decide how I want my, my swirls to be. This one that I did, hopefully you can get a close-up view, I went around, okay? This one, I'm actually gonna take my makeup brush and I am just going to paint it up and down. So it will kind of almost look like, maybe like a log. Um, and I'll show you, I've got some really cool paint that I'm gonna paint this with. So that's all I have to do, you guys, is just just think of all the things. Go to the um, secondhand store, pick up an old vase, and you guys are just ready to go. Now, one trick that you need to know about is we do want to remove this um, tape before it starts to dry, okay? So we want a nice, clean finish. So I'm actually going to try to... I love this little brush. I'm actually going to try to make it look like maybe wood, okay? So I got that one all done, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and set it down and I'm gonna remove my tape right now, okay? So that way, as it dries, I've got that clean finish, okay? So I'm taking my tape off, okay? Put that off to the side. I got a little bit right there on my glass. I'll just hold that up so you guys can see it. Okay. So we're going to let this one dry. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Okay. A little bit on my hands. I'm going to do the other one. I'll go ahead and fast forward through it. And then I will join you back once these are dry and I'm just going to show you what a quick easy project this is you guys. The other thing that is fun with this is you could um, do any type of textures you know if you have something you can press into it um, to give it a different texture so um, we could you know even mound it up at the top here a little bit so anyway I'll stop talking I'll fast forward I'll get this one done and I will join you back. So fast forward about an hour and our vases are all dry, okay? And so I've got the one that I finished that is all one and then I've got the one where I had the tape on it, okay? So what I want to show you is two options to paint. Now this one that was my first test one that I did, I used this Krylon um, metallic shimmer paint. And that turned out really pretty and it's um, just got a beautiful shimmer to it. So I also picked up some metallic copper. You can see the metallic on the top. So I am going to take um, one of these outside and spray paint it. And then I'm also going to show you that I can also use the acrylic paint and I've got another metallic. For some reason, Lisa's really into metallic. Um, and so I am going to do one of these with um, this, and I'm just going to show you how easy these are to paint. Um, it's a brand new bottle of paint for me, so let me get it open here. And I'm just going to put a little bit into my cup here just to help keep my paint in one spot. And I've got a good size brush, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just add some paint in there. Now I think I'm gonna do the tall one um, with the acrylic paint. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side. What I want to do before I start painting is I wanna put a piece of painter tape back on, okay? 
Um, and so I am just going to very carefully, right along the glass, I am going to put down my painter's tape. And it's just because Lisa's not the cleanest painter there is in the world. Okay, so I am just going around and I am carefully putting that tape on, okay? So that way I'm all set, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and literally just paint this. Now, you don't have to paint it. Um, you definitely can leave it this way, but I just love all the things you can do with this, um, the plaster, the molding, <laughs> I can't even talk today. Um, the modeling paste. Um, it's just so fun to add texture to things. And so I'm just being very careful, just giving it a good paint. I'm going to let this dry and then I am going to be able to, you know, I could add a little ribbon to it. I could put um, some little um, um, decals or not decals, but little charms or something hanging from it. Um, just all the different things you can do. So you guys, this was a Dollar Tree um, vase and you would never know that. So I'm just going to keep painting it, get it all a nice coat of paint. I'm going to turn it upside down and then I'm just going to let it dry. I love being able to pick it up with my hand like this and being able to paint with it. Make sure I put everything I'm using down below in the links. That way, if you guys would like to make this same type of project, you'll know exactly what I used, but just basic acrylic paint, you guys. Um, the modeling paste. I actually have got modeling paste both at um, Amazon, of course. I do a lot of add to cart, but also um, over at Michael's, I found it. And I know they've got it at Hobby Lobby too. I haven't been to Joann's in a while, so I'm not sure if they've got it. I'm sure they probably do. Okay. And I'm going to also paint the bottom of mine. Now, when I let mine dry, I am going to turn it upside down. Just give that a little bit of texture. Okay, so there we have one of it all painted. So I'm just gonna let that dry upside down like that. And it's gonna turn out just like this beautiful one I did. So you guys, I'm gonna pop outside and give this one a coat of spray paint. Um, it's a little drizzly outside and I'm home by myself, so I'm not sure I could hold a camera and spray paint at the same time, but I'll be right back with this one all spray painted. Okay, so I've got one coat on the um, spray paint one, and again, I'm using this Krylon metallic copper. I'm thinking that once that dries, I'm probably going to give it another coat, but I will join you back here as soon as everything is dry. And here is that copper vase that I finished. I did end up putting on a second coat of spray paint on this, and I just love how it turned out. The copper is just absolutely beautiful. And you can really see here the texture of the modeling paste. Here's that silver one that I did, and I did add a little bit of bling to it, and I think it turned out so cute. And then there's the original one that I did. And so it's just been so fun experimenting with this modeling paste and vases. So I hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday project. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more inspiration, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com.